This morning, I woke up to an interesting song. I heard the lyrics in my head. So I'm going to play this song. But I thought, because it is the Christmas season, I thought this would be a good time to read the story of the birth of Jesus. So if you're interested in this kind of thing, stick around. Feel free to subscribe to this channel. And I'm going to read the story, and then I'm going to play the song. So this is in... Luke, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Serenus was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth unto Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there was in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And it shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there is with an angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go on to even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, and it was told unto them. your baby boy would save our sons and daughters did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new this child that you deliver but soon sight to the blind man. Mary, did you know the oh, baby boy would come a storm with his hand? Did you know oh, your baby boy has walked where angels try and 
when you've kissed your little bed, you've kissed the face of God. Oh, Mary, did you know? Wow. That was pretty good. That's what I woke up to, listening to that song. And I hadn't heard that song in years. At least not purposefully. You might have heard it on the radio or something like that, but just when you when you listen to the lyrics, like it is so powerful. I'm actually just going to read the lyrics. Such a powerful song. Look at this. <clears throat> Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you delivered will soon deliver you. <clears throat> Mary, did you know that your baby boy will give sight to a man, to a blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will calm the storm with his hand? Did you know that your baby boy has walked <clears throat> where angels trod? It's the air conditioning. Got to get our air conditioning fixed. Can't even finish reading the lyrics. Man. Oh. Got to do it. Got to do it. That's it. I'm going to tell my wife, we got to fix the air conditioning. Oh. All right. <clears throat> when you kiss your little baby, you kiss the face of God. Did you know? The blind will see. The deaf will hear. The dead will live again. The lame man will leap. The dumb will speak. 
the praises of the Lamb. Mary, did you know that your baby boy is the Lord of all creation? Mary, did you know that your baby boy, which one day ruled the nations, did you know that your baby boy is heaven's perfect lamb? That sleeping child you're holding is the great I am. Mary, did you know? So powerful, especially in this time of year. I wonder if she thought about that. Like, I, I have a grand baby, grandchild. And when you hold him, so innocent, so delicate, so tender, you don't want any harm to come to him. It's like, I think he's like six months old right now. Just loves the world around him, loves his mom, loves his dad, just so joyous. And did Mary know that one day she would have to witness her son being crucified on a cross? I can't imagine. And some of the last words that Jesus said while he was on the cross is he looked down to his mother Mary, probably watching her weep as he is dying. And he says to John, Behold, this is your mother. And to Mary, this is your son. So basically, he allowed John to adopt his mother as his mother, as John's mother. He wanted to take care of his mother. That was the last thing before he departed. It's interesting, right? So I wonder, again, if Mary saw into the future what was going to happen to her son and that ultimately he would be the savior of the world. Powerful stuff. Powerful stuff. Anyways, a little bit of a different video this morning. But I hope you guys uh, go to church tomorrow somewhere. And you actually reflect and just think of what Jesus Christ did for us. Not only while he was on earth, but when he died on the cross. And then he's alive again. And he'll never, he'll never go through that again. He'll never have to die again. And once we believe, <clears throat> once we believe in Jesus Christ, that he is the son of God. That he died and rose again on the third day we will be delivered from the wrath of God. We will be saved. So thanks for watching. If you got something out of this, feel free to share this video. Feel free to subscribe to this channel. Feel free to share your thoughts, comments, and uh, Merry Christmas. See you later.